Jesus Christ. Last night's video actually took so long to upload. My upload speed in my house is literally like the worst thing I've ever even like encountered. It's like my download speed is like ranges from like 40 to like 120 or something and my upload speed ranges from like 5 to like 22. It pisses me off because it takes forever. I really do need to get that like sorted. Alright, so speaking of my last video, in it I said that I will be telling some stories that um, of things that happened in Scotland like nearer to the end of it. And that's what I'm going to do. So, this is where it all starts. <clears throat> what is going on guys? I'm your host, Killer Eros Star. Let's get a ride into the story. Kill me now. Kill me now, dude. Alright, so... On first, on, I can't remember what day it was, but on one night I went to the shop and then came back home and got a load of food for the journey to the car and that is completely unrelated and I don't know why I even said it. On the journey, little Stephen was feeling a little bit peckish as he had not had any food for some while and he had finished everything he bought the previous night. It was around 12, it was around 11 a.m. When Stephen finally raised his voice to his mother and father and said, Hey, can we get some food, brother? And then Stephen and Stephen, Steve, <laughs> Jesus, Stephen and, no, Stephen's mother and father said, Sure, little hunk. Let's just go into the nearest cavalry. And the nearest cavalry was in Inverness. And something me and my family did not actually know about Inverness, which we should have done to be honest, but something our family did not know about Inverness was that they speak Scottish or a different language or something like that. And oh, oh, ah! <laughs> Basically, um, I went into like a restaurant with my mum and dad, and like we just sat down and got in there, and we was like, "Oh yes, let's fucking look at this base little menu." And the woman who actually came and gave us our like menus was like, "Hello, ladies and gentlemen, what can I do you for?" And then um, like we were just like, "Boy, we just looking. Come back later, bitch." And that's what we really said. We, we called a random waiter a bitch just because. Just because. <laughs> and then we all found out what we wanted. Little old me wanted a double chicken club without mayonnaise and a Coca-Cola. And shortly followed a raspberry sundae. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, we, we all found out what we wanted and then we just sat there and waited until the new waiter came and asked us what we want what we wanted and then literally we saw someone we saw about someone coming like four or five times and wasn't coming to us and we were just like Ugh I'm getting agitated and I started like flipping the table over and stuff and then I had to like do shit to make it unobvious. Like I let it down quickly. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but yeah, let's just Let's get a ride into the story base. Alright, so then um, we waited and 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 times 3,000. And then some waiter finally came to us and then she looked at me and she was like, I got the waiter, I got the menu in my hand to just like revise what I actually wanted. And all I heard come out from my mouth was, Hello, 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 meme, meme, meme. I love meme. Bin Laden, Bin Laden, meme. And I just looked at her and I was like, she asked me, she basically asked me what I wanted in a different language, and I just looked at her. Like I zoned out from the world. My parents didn't exist anymore. It was just me in that pub, and I just me and this waiter, one waiter in the whole world left, and everything else was just abolished. And I just looked at her and said, Yes. And she probably thought, What? And then, I was like, 
I didn't even know what to say. It was so awkward. I was just sat there like, um, I don't know what you just said, but yeah. Or like panicking and shit. And like, I started getting like beads of sweat coming down my forehead. And oh, it was just, oh, it was just worst thing ever, mate. And then um, she, I think she got the message that we didn't actually understand. Well, I didn't understand her. And then she just walked off and I was just like, the fuck, where you are? And then, like, shortly after, she came back, sure enough, with another waiter. And that waiter could speak English. And we got our food. Oh, yeah. And, like, I remember, like, when I, when I, like, zoned out from the world. And, like, well, when I was, like, telling her that I didn't understand her. People around me was just looking. And, like, with this face of, just dis with this face of, like, disgust. And there was, like... Oh, why don't you fucking learn this language if you're gonna finish? If you're finna come to the fucking gantry, you little cant. And there's like fucking like throwing glass bottles at me, and then some woman like walked up to me with an iron in her board and like used me as like an iron. And I was just like, all oh, for not knowing a language. All oh, for not knowing a language. So yeah, that might be the top of one of the most awkward things that happened to me. In my life, it might have overtake overtook the title of it, but. Yeah, um, this video is quite short today because like I'm off to my nana's today, so I just like literally ran home. I was getting bullied. I got bullied away from school, and I had to like jump on my pogo stick and like jump over about 400 houses. Get home, turn my computer on, turn my Xbox One on, turn my PVR on, turn my mouse on, turn my computer on, turn my computer. What's wrong with me? And then I'm just like you recording now. Uh, yeah. So. This steady flow of uploads is good, and I'm actually like a fan. It's really, I like it like uploading this good as it like shows that I'm gonna try with my YouTube channel. And I can't believe like I've got 12 subscribers, which honestly like is quite big for me because I'm a fucking retard and everyone hates me. Nah, yeah, but I'll just decide. Thank you, lads, for these 12 subs that you've brought upon me. And also, I can't believe I've got 100 views or 200 views now. But yeah, it is what it is. And I'll see you in the next video, probably tomorrow. And if not, then I'm just either too tired or I'm just like, my schedule is full with flashlight bookings and bookings and bookings and bookings and bookings. And bookings.